Let's instead do some tending, shall we? Drainage. By the way, that's 11 one ones. We'll send them with these. Like, maybe we can get there? This is interesting. So we sack this. Actually, I think we're gonna get there. Biggest brain plays. We let the damage go through, yeah. Woo! Oh boy. Well, lesson learned in this game, don't just go attacking your Dina into things. They're actually amazingly dead. Ooh. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. Let's go! How's it going, y'all? Titan Smash MTG, and today we're back to some more MTGA standard action. Today, we got another new brew for you. This is Golgari Pest, Golgari Sacrifice. Um, I'm interested about this one because this one's like kind of off the wall, but it can do some really, really wild things. Uh, so I'm just curious to see if it actually works the way I want it to. Uh, again, this is the first day of Strixhaven being released, so depending on when you see this video, it may be still the same day, maybe tomorrow or next day. Um, but I'm trying to play a bunch of these decks and uh, best of one. Uh, just take them into the play queue, play some best of one, and just kind of get a feel out to see if they feel okay. And then from there, if we have a deck that feels like it's going to be good, build a sideboard for it, take it into rank. But for now, I just want to try some new cards without worrying about rank. So. so basically what we're trying to do in this deck is play things like Tend the Pest to be able to sacrifice one of our creatures and make X 1-1 one, one Black Pest tokens where that's equal to their power. Uh, the dream is to play something like a Damagoth Titan, have it, have it there, able to do his thing on end step, sacrifice it, make 11 different 1-1s. One, and then we have cards like Bash of Remembrance, where if attempt something dies, we drain the opponent. We have things like Dina Soul Saper, where you saw me gain life and the opponent loses one life. There's just so many little kind of things in here in this deck that work out really well. Uh, Plum the Forbidden is another new card we're trying out, just something to kind of sacrifice things, draw a card, lose some life, that sort of deal there. So curious to see how this works. Um, you know, this doesn't play the little, whatever the four mana creature is, it gives all your pests plus one, plus one. Not playing anything that kind of janky. I still want this to be kind of just a streamlined deck, and we'll see how it goes. So, without further ado, let's take this into rank. See how it goes. Let's go. All right, first game here with Golgari Pest is against Nalahov. We went 5-0 with Boros Historic, or, or Boros Winota. Um, this deck's, yeah, this hand's pretty playable. Um, so I'll be curious to see how this one does. I don't know what to expect with it, to be honest. Uh, this is more of a janky looking deck, so I wouldn't be surprised if this one's bad. But that's what we're playing here, you know, we're just trying to test out new things and see how they go. Let's go ahead and drop the Fiend Artisan to start her off with. Next turn, we'll play a Bastion of Remembrance. 1-1, one, one, by the way. Don't you kill my boy. Fabled Passage for Opponent. They are off to the races, buddy. Tap land into tap land. They still have one mana, they got a spike field. Oh, they got the fancy shock. You love slash hate to see it. Um here we're just playing a bastion. And we got the Damagoth Titan in hand, so hopefully we can find us a tend the pest here at some point. First we see to find a land though. That's Wow. Wow, okay, we found I wasn't specific enough. I, I meant like an untapped land. That's kind of what I was going for there. We'll bottom that. We'll swing for one. And we'll play another Bastion. Rude! So opponent is on some spice. I like it. Win or lose, at least we're getting to see some new cards here. And again, that's why we're kind of playing in the play queue. Uh, I wanted to see some new cards here that we weren't really expecting. Luminarch Aspirant with Heartless Act. Very awkward. Okay, another Fiend Artisan. Also very awkward. Let's, uh... Hmm. I think we're just playing this. The thickness. Didn't we bottom a Fiend Arson? Okay, we didn't. So we've already seen three Fiend Arsons in our top you know, a few cards here. It's a little annoying. And they can play the Bone Crusher if they want. I doubt they want to attack into this, though. Huh, so... Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm curious to what they have here, so let's go ahead and attack now. Drain them. 
This tin the pest might be insane. Let's instead do some tending, shall we? Drainage. By the way, that's 11 one ones. No big deal. I'm going to hold up this Heartless Act in case he plays something. Yep. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead. Destroy you. Get out of y'all. See what they don't scuff. Oh, opponent, no! Too many pests. Let's go. 11 one ones. Getting to live the dream on game one there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play another. All right, game number two is against Cantonator24. Let's go. On the draw again. With double tap land, but. But this hand is really good otherwise. I want to keep this since we're on the draw. If we could draw into a basic land here, that could be cool. Because um, I can just Fable Pass it on one, reveal the basic on two with this, and then play the basic on three. Throne of Death. That ain't it. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Cheville. Pawn up with some spice of their own over there. Some snow. The Mire Trine. Okay. I like what they're doing here so far. Let's go ahead and get a black source for now. And hope. I mean, I guess it doesn't really even matter right now. Okay, well, that's just garbage draw at the moment. Really need a land here. Untapped land would be fantastic, so I can play Woe Strider. If not, we're going to be in pretty rough shape. So hit us for two. Land into nothing. Yikes. Um... So luckily with Plum, we can still... Okay, so we still get to hit a land here. That's the good thing about Plum, is even if you don't have a creature to sacrifice, you can still do your thing there with it. If this Demogoth Titan gets to live, that's going to be a very cheap Great Hinge. We'll just kind of see what they're doing for now. Toski, GG, we lose, we lose the game. Okay, that's still not what we're looking for. Fortunately, we just gotta play this for now, I think. Where the hell are my lands? 15 cards through just about, and only three of them, that's with digging. I'll probably put this here, chump here, and then scry with the, the Woe Strider. See what they got here first. Oh, Arena. I hate how it does the switcheroo. Do some of this. Sacrifice the goat. There's a one card away. No card draw for them. Like, if they just kind of dirtle, like, they're not going to be a very fast deck. So maybe it'll give us some time to kind of get our game plan going here. Turkrid's Lantern. Um, I'll discard a card. Uh, we'll just lose three life for now. Let's play the Titan. And let's pass the turn. If you could just allow my Dame of God Titan to live, I would very much appreciate it. Because I would like to do some Great Hinge and attend the Pest action would be fantastic. I do need another green source to be able to safely do that. Because I didn't play this on green. Let's see what they got for us here, though. I will go as low as they let me go, though. As soon as we get this Great Hinge to resolve, we'll be feeling really good. Yikes. Well, 
full sack it. Get her scry on. Yeah. I think I'm fine to keep drawing these for now. Like, eventually they'll run out of stuff to do. Do we just trade here, honestly? I think we do. They're going to draw a card anyway, so I might as well do something I can kill something with. And maybe this time I'm just playing Fiendars and then holding up the, uh, the Forbidden. We'll see what we got. Um, Sleep 3 Life. We'll keep playing this game. So we'll do this, holding up Tent the Pest. And we'll pass the turn here. At least we can gain a little bit of life here with this. Let's actually attack you in response. Opponent just on mono removal dot deck here. Like three one ones. Don't want them drawing a the card, so we'll gain us a life. And I know how to gain life. I think we're going to have to ditch this uh, Great Hinge here. I just don't know if we're going to have time to ever get to do this at this point. Egon. That's a big, big critter. For now, I'm still going to lose three life, though. Okay. Jesus. I'm assuming they're going to have removal for this, but I think this is what we have to do for the time being. So you've got nine cards in the graveyard. We've got plenty of things to sacrifice. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, we just kind of had a little slow draw there. We're not dead, though, so I'm not going to scoop it. But it's starting to feel pretty bad. Like, you just don't ever expect to draw no lands and all Dame of the Titans. That's pretty frustrating, to be honest. Yeah, at this point, we'll just scoop it up now. I'd say good game. That one wasn't really much of a game. We just got super, super screwed there and had some weird draws, but weird deck, too. So let's go ahead and play another. All right, next game is against Onakas. Let's see if we can actually draw some lands this game. On the play, very... Ooh, my gosh, that's a very good hand. We keep these. The Ghost! Serrated Scorpion. Um, so I could just get my guaranteed value here. And play this. And I think I like this because then... Uh, following turn, even if I don't hit a, like an untapped land, I can still just play Dina. Let's actually do this. Make sure we get this value while we can. Turn 2 Bastion. Not bad. So we got some modern black on the other side. I bet you they could be playing Demigod Titan too. That's a decent card. I don't think we need two of these right now, so I'm actually going to scoop that one up, I think. I may end up wanting to play Plum the Forbidden here, and it'd be pretty good. No box. We go 19. Okay. Okay. Um. Then we're going to play Dina this turn. And then play this Fable Passage. And I'm cool trading here. Best turn. Hopefully they don't do too much damage to us here, because we can really just draw a lot of cards as plum. Okay. That's his plum main. Okay, they didn't hit a land there, that's good. Let's go ahead, sack this. 
get us a black source green on. So let's I'm gonna at least sack my goose and my token, I think. I don't know what else I wanna do. I I could probably I guess if I draw into like a fiend artisan I'd wanna have that now. But I think the time being, we kind of just hold this up. Because I have a feeling they may want to try to remove this, Dina, so at least we can use this here. Creature to pawn control dies. Well, that's kind of bad. So let's go ahead. I will sacrifice two creatures. Trigger, trigger, trigger. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I think we'll pass there. We've got options here. We can do this and hold up Plum, which again, just doesn't seem all that bad. Because Damon got Titan isn't really doing a ton right now. And if I wait, if I get one more mana and a 10 the pest, we can really do some shenanigans there. So. I think I'm attacking. None of these have death touch, so. So this gets plus. I don't know if they just didn't read that or not, but I'm cool with that. Like, yes, this will make their Malakir bigger. But I think I'm cool just trading all these out here. Drain them again. So we have seven things in the bin now, so we can bring this back this next turn too. Because this thing's just jump walkable so easily. Scavenger. I don't like that. Uh, we just take this for now. Oh, it does make it bigger. I didn't really think of that. Okay, we're so close. We're so close. For now, and especially to make their scavenger worse, I think we're just doing some woe stridering. One, two. So we have enchantment, land, creature, instant. Yeah, that's pretty good. That'll make their, their scavenger a lot worse. Now it's a 3-3 three, three instead. Pass the turn. We're getting close. We're getting close to being able to make this 10 the pest do her thing. That that cold blade's actually pretty interesting in here though. But like against control, that's just such a dead card. Interesting. Opponent's on some some jank, but I kinda dig it. So I can't block any of this, so we just we just take it for now. So I, I actually have to sacrifice this. I know it makes their thing bigger. We do gain a little bit of life though, which is nice. So we'll keep this. So we play Damon Golf. This makes us Discard a card. Are we just dead? I'm afraid we're just dead, y'all. I guess this is actually any creature. It's so awkward because of this thing. This is like a direct counter to what we're doing here. Let's try to get in some damage first. See if they block. Don't block upon it. Dang. We'll 
We'll have to play this out and see. I think we're dead here, unfortunately. Yeah. Like, you know this deck isn't good when we're losing to this kind of garbage they're playing, too. Alright. I guess we gotta try it, though, right? Let's see here they got. Rogue. 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 So I can show them Plum here. Oh wait, they do have two? So I can take my Plum here. And unfortunately, we're just dead. Because of this fucking card right here. It's so unfortunate. Oh wait, no, we gain a life, so actually we're okay for now. Uh, don't think we want that. We're gonna gain just enough life to maybe make it out of this. Oh, I wish I hadn't thrown away my Dina. It's 11. I'm gonna sacrifice as little as I have to here. So now they're 17, so I gotta do it one more time. Okay. We still want the Dina. So that's 18, so we'll go to one here. They gain a lot of life here. Sure. We play Dina. Just not quite enough, is it? It's still just not quite enough. We'll send them with these. Like, maybe we can get there? We make them block. This is interesting. So we sack this. Actually, I think we're going to get there. Sure. And we'll sack this. We actually going to get there, baby. Biggest brain plays. We let the damage go through. Yeah. Woo! Oh, boy. Well, lesson learned this game. Don't just go attacking your Dina into things. They're actually amazingly dead there. Ooh. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. Let's go. That was a crazy game, man. Holy crap. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and play another. All right. Probably last game of the day here is against Grosse Pepit. On draw, this hand is great, though. Ooh, it's a nice hand. Um, keep this. Yeah, the games have been a little bit long, but been very interesting. This deck's been neat. Don't know if it's actually good or not. Uh, this is probably abysmal for us, though. Um, we'll try it though. Yeah, if it'll be like just mono black removal, uh, we'll probably struggle quite a bit here, I'd imagine. Archfiend official, go ahead and dead weight my goose now. Their deck is not very good, but gotta give them credit where credit's due. It's good in this matchup. Here, I'm just gonna play the Dina. Try to hold back the line a little bit. See how that works out for us. Mm. 
Banner? <laughs> okay. Well, I can still block the Archstream's Vessel. They probably have a Call of Death Dweller, but... When you've got it all, you've got it all, don't you? There's a Heartless Act, at least, so that's good. Snarl is a tap land, essentially, so we don't want that. I think while the shields are down, we just want to Heartless Act that. Pass turn. I do nothing attacking here, so... Lure us for opponents, and they can play a dead weight again. Doesn't kill my creature, but it is annoying because now I can't afford to block. This, this game is going very annoyingly. Another. Did I not just bottom this? That's. Okay. That's nice. These snarls, man, are yikes. Are Pepega yikes. I don't know if I'm going to be attacking in with this. I do have another Love Struck Beast, anyways. I could just play a Woe Strider. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's do this. Do we want to attack for a negative one? I think the answer is no. Well, opponent only has three cards in hand at least, and their top decks are bad, so there's at least that. Oh, fuck you. I hate it so much. Ah! Happily trade there. They probably just have another one in hand now, I'd imagine. You got something in your hand, so just play it, opponent. Okay. That's such a good draw for them, too. They're... They're drawing insanely well. I'm just being a big baby, so I can't say anything. Let's do this. Like we'll still have us a fine turn here doing this, and this, and this. Bring it on, opponent. Kill me. That, it is a really good combo, though those those cards. I'm just being I'm just being angry and salty about it. But they really have. You got to admit, like for them to be stuck on three lands, they have done way more than that deck, especially has any right to do. But when you're drawing hot, you're drawing hot. Um, that's not great right now either. We gonna play it though. We gonna play it though. Watch all of our stuff get dead weighted every turn so they can keep drawing cards. I don't think I don't know how we beat this. Anytime that deck gets lucky enough to draw every removal they need, exactly when two Lurises and two Heraldic Manners, you need to go to win games and they just have like life link out the ass so they're already at 33 life here let's just i'm done with this let's go and take a look at deck list one more time this deck is deep but it's not amazing but <laughs> let's go and take a look at this deck list one more time all right, so Golgari Pest, in the end, it's a neat little deck, but this one, I wouldn't recommend building this unless you're just really devoted to the strategy. Um, obviously, Damagoth Titan uh, being sacrificed to tend the pest is gas, and Dina actually seemed pretty nice of doing its thing there and worked really well with the Bastion of Remembrance. So I think there's like some shell or something here, but it's just not quite what this deck wants to do. Uh, Plunder for Forbidden is a great card, by the way. This card was just... I, I love that you can just draw a card and lose a life even if you don't have a creature out there. But if you need to sack stuff otherwise, you can just do so and feel good about it. Excuse me. Um, so that was good there. It works really well with the pest tokens too because they're essentially just free. And if you have Bastion Remembrance out, then you're also draining people. So there's just a lot of different ways to kill people in this deck. Um, but obviously, it's still just nothing. I don't think this is anything that's going to see play in Standard as like a real deck. 
if you wanted to add red in here and make it like a Jun sacrifice thing and have some Akroan Wars, claim the Firstborns, have more ways to sacrifice the opponent's own creatures, then maybe we're talking about something there. Uh, but for the time being, I don't think this is quite it. Still, I hope you all enjoyed this. this. You know, this is why we played it unranked. Just play some of these brews and see how they do. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching.